Insight into the Night, an interview with Harry O. Morris by Forrest Jackson. Although only dedicated fans of Lovecraftian fiction know the name and work of Harry O. Morris, Jr., he remains one of the genre's most influential publishers and artists. Born in New Mexico not too, fo not too long after the White Sands nuclear bomb tests, Morris grew up watching monster movies and reading horror and science fiction. In 1964, while a teenager, he unwittingly discovered H.P. Lovecraft's In the Vault, sealing his fate forever. After devouring the rest of the stories in the Lancer paperback edition of The Dunwich Horror, he proceeded to read The Color Out of Space and thence declared himself a lifelong devotee of the old gentleman from Providence. And that is a, uh, a piece that was written by Forrest Jackson for this book, uh, Esoterra, the Journal of Extreme Culture, uh, which is edited by Chad Hensley. And uh, my friend Forrest Jackson sent me a copy of this book, and uh, that was very nice of him, so I thought I would read a little snippet from the part that he wrote. Um, <clears throat> hello, and welcome to another edition of The Stench of Truth. I'm going to make it short and sweet here. The president gives his job speech pretty much what the White House had said before. So let me see. In order to create jobs in the country, basically what we need to do is we need to further destroy Social Security's solvency and fucking stability by cutting back on the payroll taxes that go into paying for fucking Social Security. So we can have more money in our pockets to do what? to spend so we can go out and buy useless shit because that's what we are we're a fucking consuming nation we don't make anything anymore all we do is fucking buy shit buy new shit and throw the old shit away you know what I don't want more money in my fucking pocket I want to keep my job if I happen to have one and I want a job if I don't and cutting the solvency of Social Security in the future for a few dollars now is the biggest fucking piece of shit that should have any fucking connection to a so-called jobs program that I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. And so-called infrastructure program? Yeah. I'll believe that when I see it. Do you remember the stimulus? frittered away. That money went to basically nothing. And do you think anything's going to get built out of this jobs plan? No. Because by the time they streamline the process of getting projects up and running, uh, all of it will be gone. And let, let's just put it this way, okay? The amount of money that he's proposing to put towards this is fucking pennies! and practically fucking useless. So here's your bold fucking statement from the sham fucking Wall Street shyster motherfucker that we have in the White House. Bold, strong approach to help America out of this horrible decline that we're experiencing and out of this terrible de depression and recession and to do something about the moribund jobs issue where unemployment still sits at 9.1%. Bold and amazing approach of nothing and bullshit! So let's use the jobs idea to further destroy Social Security because that's your role, you fucking piece of shit. Continue on your course, and when you win a term again in 2012, you can continue to smash away at every fucking New Deal program in this fucking country. And every snippet of a dime or fucking penny that goes to anybody who is not already fucking rich on Wall Street, or running a fucking corporation, gets raked back.
because they don't deserve a fucking thing under the model of uh, capitalism. Predatory capitalism. Where the people are nothing but rocks and stones in a quarry. And if they don't support the bottom line of profit, dump them over the fucking edge into the brackish water. That's the name of the game, folks. And with the lunatics who are running in the GOP and the total sham of the two-party system, whereby there is no actual Democratic Party or Republican Party or left or right... Because if there was, there would be someone who would stand up and be a primary challenger to the worst piece of shit president that we could ever have had, but so brilliantly crafted. I have to hand it to the people again. I have to say it again. It, it's absolutely brilliant what they put together, how they packaged this guy from day fucking one. So he could slip in there and do his thing. Destroy everything. How no person in the GOP, no mainstream Democrat, none of these people could come anywhere near these programs. And don't forget, don't forget, he mentioned Medicare in his job speech too. How, well let's see, what could we do with Medicare to make more jobs in this country? I know, we need to reform it. Well, you already reformed it to the tune of raking 500 fucking billion dollars out of it. So what's your next step of reform, you fucking asshole? Is it to rake out another 500 fucking billion dollars? Yeah, there's your bold, aggressive approach by the asshole in chief. Same old bullshit, not enough money, no, nothing even set in such a way that any of it will come to, come to be. If you want to talk about infrastructure, you need a massive fucking program. That means like a public works administration, immediately. You need to instruct people to start hiring people to fucking morrow. And if you've got a job planned on road XYZ and it's not quite ready to go, get them out there to clear the goddamn brush! It doesn't take a fucking genius! Just take someone who is not a complete stooge for corporate and Wall Street America. And for the rich. Which is exactly what Obama is. So if you were expecting anything different, huh, I hope by God that maybe a few people who have two or three brain cells left in their fucking decaying skulls, who are still holding out hope that Obama's going to eventually do something good for somebody other than rich people, Wall Street and corporations, that maybe a couple of them, a few neurons firing back and forth in their diseased skulls, will say, wait a minute, destroying Social Security and destroying Medicare does not equal creating jobs. And if you need infrastructure repair in this country, hmm, a few hundred billion dollars doesn't even amount to fucking jack shit. So thank you for nothing, you piece of fucking filth. God, I'll be so happy to have you for five more years so I can fucking blast you every couple days for your failed policies of sucking up to the rich and to the Wall Street goons and sellouts and fraudsters and for your complete dismantling of everything that ever was halfway decent about America and giving it lock, stock, and barrel to multinational corporations and having us all live as sharecroppers on land that is owned by our local feudal lord. At least out of that, until they shut this down too, 
as the burgeoning police state gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Thank you, Obama. What a great fucking show. I guess your next thing is going to be um, infrastructure repair by rendition. That's it. Yes, we need more rendition of people, and that will somehow fix our bridges. Just like destroying Social Security will create jobs. It's the new math, everybody. And don't forget, Al-Qaeda is our ally. They always have been. It's the way it's always been. Al-Qaeda has always been our ally. Thank you. Good night.